They can replicate human behavior and have human-like features, but they cannot completely replace us. But they've already developed into excellent helpers. The topic of today's film will be the world's most lifelike humanoid robots. As we all know, advances in artificial intelligence have made the humanoid robot sector more relevant than ever in recent years. A single robot produced a year was no longer considered a big deal. Now, dozens of highly developed humanoids are issued on a yearly basis. China, Japan, and the US are the robotics industry leaders. At the moment, the robots from these nations are the most sophisticated in terms of both appearance and functionality. One business, however, has taken the world by surprise and for a number of years has been producing some of the most lifelike robots ever, outperforming rivals from nations like China and the USA. We're going to be discussing robots today that come from the Russian business Promobot. We will discuss how the Russians create humanoids that are so similar to humans, demonstrate how robots are made in the biggest factories in Russia, examine the traits of these machines, and discuss the company Promobot's possibilities going forward. With a focus on mechatronics, electronics, artificial intelligence, the development of artificial skin and muscles, and the study of human-machine interaction, Promobot is the biggest producer of autonomous service robots in Russia and Europe. Currently, the company's main office is in Perm's Morian Digital Technopark. Promobot was founded in January 2013 by Oleg Kivokurtsev, Maxim Utev, and Igor Yeremeyev. Their first robot was 145 centimeters tall and weighed 70 kilograms. Initially, Promobot was designed as an assistant focused on solving specific tasks. It started as a snow clearing robot, then evolved into a consulting robot with facial recognition and the ability to have conversations and answer questions. Following this, they developed a companion robot, an administrator robot, a secretary robot for document management support, a medical robot, a security robot, and many others. The PERM-based company manufactures the circuit boards for its robots in-house and holds more than 10 patents for its developments. Promobot operates in several areas, but its true breakthrough came with the creation of ultra-realistic robots that brought the company global recognition. These robots have human-like appearances and facial expressions, can speak and express emotions, thereby attracting even more attention. Their robots are equipped with movable arms that mimic human gestures to interact with audiences and also scan documents for people, recognize data and transfer it to information systems, measure body temperatures, and much more. Now let's move on to the robot creation process. We head to one of the company's largest factories and begin assembly. After all the blueprints and plans are completed, engineers start by building the robot's frame, which is made from lightweight aluminum, while the joints are made from steel. Simultaneously, the plastic is prepared and undergoes thermo-vacuum forming. The parts are then processed, painted, and installed on the robot. Also, every plastic part in a Promobot undergoes fireproof treatment. On average, each robot contains about 56 plastic parts, and the client can choose any color for the body. Next, engineers lay out the wiring, install circuit boards, servos, and the processor. This results in the installation of the specific devices needed for the robot's tasks, a printer, document scanner, banking terminal, or medical equipment. Promobot robots operate on a specially developed Linux operating system. Programmers and linguists work on developing the linguistic base, speech and facial recognition systems, and autonomous navigation. On average, it takes about five days to assemble one humanoid. The factory always has several Promobots being assembled simultaneously. Each year, the company produces several hundred humanoids, but its production capacity is growing, and with sufficient demand production can be doubled. The creation of the hair is perhaps the most time-consuming and meticulous task as it is done entirely by hand. Each hair strand receives individual attention, and there can be up to 100,000 hairs on a single head. The hair used is real, as synthetic hair lacks the necessary curl and elasticity. To ensure the hair looks presentable, a professional hairdresser is brought in for each robotic head. The eyes are also painted by hand, with the iris and pupil detailed using a fine brush. It takes two days to complete a pair of eyes, and a significant amount of time is also spent on the jaw. 
Artificial skin for humanoid robots is also created in a dedicated laboratory using special silicone. The thickness is measured to fractions of a millimeter with particular attention given to the face as the mimicry needs to look lifelike. The elasticity of the skin on the hands is equally important as it must endure numerous bends and stretches. To make the artificial skin resemble real skin more closely, it is tinted, a process similar to makeup application. Each robot's head contains 29 movable modules that help the mimicry appear as human-like as possible. These modules control the movements of the eyes, eyelids, cheeks, and head turns. The circular mechanism on the robot's chest houses a camera and a complex array of microphones that can isolate human speech from background noise and identify the main speaker. After all the wires and circuit boards are installed, the robot is powered on for the first time, bringing it to life. Each Promobot undergoes more than 10 hours of testing, during which engineers troubleshoot and fix any issues until the robot is working perfectly. One of the final stages is testing the robot's reactions and emotions. Naturally, the more complex the robot, the more functions it has. For example, museum robots are equipped with floor plans to navigate without bumping into exhibits, airport consultants have a receipt printer, and consulate robots have a passport scanner. Diagnostic robots can even be fitted with a breathalyzer upon request. Promobot V4 is fully capable of replacing a live employee. It communicates with people, answers questions, provides consultations, and moves freely within a space. The robot even recharges itself when it detects that its battery is low, need constant supervision. The robot's owner can easily add new phrases, create custom movements, emotions, and even dances because managing the robot is simple and doesn't require special education. Over the next 20 years, humanoid robots will become an integral part of everyday life. The challenge for global developers will be to ensure their harmonious integration without fueling fears of technological unemployment. The goal of humanoid robotics is to advance human capabilities and evolve beyond the simple replacement of human labor. This invites a reconsideration of the nature of work itself its purposes, its effectiveness, and the relationship between humans and robots. It's only a matter of time until businesses like Promobot create the ideal helpers, which will transform society and have the power to fundamentally alter the course of history. With their lifelike functionality, these robots from this company are deservedly regarded as some of the most realistic in the world, and they truly deserve respect. Share your thoughts regarding Russian robots' possibilities for the future in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel after watching this video. Don't forget to watch our earlier videos. Farewell.